Hi everyone, today, I will show you how to deploy Nginx Ingress and Metal Load Balancer on Kubernetes cluster. And then we will create a sample app. You can see that, I'm using a Nginx reverse proxy in front of Kubernetes cluster. Because, I also have non-Kubernetes app, for example, a mail server installed on other VM. I need reverse proxy root mail endpoint to that VM. Let's start install and config reverse proxy on Hyper-V server. In Windows Admin Center, open PowerShell. Now get Nginx for Hyper-V server. This is my pre-compile with modules stream SSL prepare module. Okay, the downloading is completed, now we extract the zipped file. Remove the downloaded file, we don't use it anymore. Open Nginx folder in C drive to make sure everything is okay. Nginx for Windows is a standard console application. I'm using Windows Service Wrapper to make it run as a service. Now, let's download and save it on Nginx folder. Next, Upload Nginx service.xml and PowerShell script startup to Nginx folder. Run command nginx service install to create nginx service. Then run net start nginx to start service. Perfect, it started successfully. You can also check nginx configure by command nginx t. In processes tools we can find out nginx service. Next, create scheduled job to auto start Nginx when computer power up. Finally, create firewall rule to allow Nginx handle incoming HTTP and HTTP's requests. Okay, now the installation for reverse proxy is finished. Next step. We will deploy Ingress Nginx on Kubernetes cluster. It's quite simple. Just run command kube control apply a jaml file. This file is coming from Ingress Nginx repository on GitHub. After that, you can open Kubernetes dashboard to monitor the cluster. Next we will deploy the certificate manager for Kubernetes cluster. Now we are going to deploy Metal Load Balancer. First, create Metal LB System Namespace.
Then run this command to deploy all metal LB resources on cluster. Finally, deploy the config map, it will define the IP pool for metal load balancer. You can use Kubernetes dashboard to check to make sure all resources are created successfully. Now, we will deploy a sample app. In this sample, we will create two endpoints. When user access to each endpoint, it will return the name of app. Okay, let's go. Create a namespace, you can use the other name. Deploy apps to Kubernetes, Apple app then Banana app. Now deploy Ingress to make those apps are accessible via endpoint. Apple.yourdomain.com and Banana.yourdomain.com Take a look on Kubernetes dashboard to make sure apps are deployed successfully. Next step, we point a domain to IP of Hyper-V server. User will access to deployed apps by using that domain. Go to your domain manager and point it to your public IP of Hyper-V server. For me, I'm using a local DNS manager in development. Open browser and test the result. That's all for this video. In next video, I will introduce you how to install Istio Service Mesh on Kubernetes cluster. Thank for watching, and don't forget to subscribe my channel.